Previously, we learned how to write and run Python code using the Python interpreter in interactive mode. Now let's go ahead and learn how to write some Python code, save it to a file, and then run that file using the Python interpreter. Interactive mode is really more for testing and experimenting with code, but if you want to build your actual Python program, you are going to have to save it to a file or several files that work together. So first, we're going to need a code editor where we can write our Python code. And as I talked about previously, you can use either a basic plain text editor, or you could use an integrated development environment, also known as an IDE. For this demonstration, we are going to use an IDE. The advantage of using an IDE over a plain text editor is that an IDE has more features to help make the process of creating and debugging your program easier. Debugging a program is the process of finding and correcting the errors that occur in your program. Not all IDEs are created equally. Some have more features than others. So which IDE are we going to use? When we installed Python earlier, it also added some other optional programs during the standard installation procedure that we performed. One of those programs is a simple Python IDE named IDLE which stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. And that is what we will use in this demonstration. To launch IDLE on a Mac, go to Spotlight and search for IDLE. If you are on Windows, go to the search field and type IDLE and select it from the results. OK, so now that we've launched IDLE, the first window that we'll see is for the Python interactive shell. This is pretty much the same as what I showed you in the previous demonstration when we access the Python interpreter using a command line interface. So we can type something after the primary prompt and then press enter and then we will see the result right away. So most, if not all Python IDEs will have a built-in interactive shell so that you won't have to keep switching between your IDE and your CLI. Now to start writing code that we can save to a file, we first create a new file by choosing File, New File from the main menu. This will bring up a new editor window where we can begin typing the code for our Python program. For this demonstration, we are going to create a very simple Hello World program. I'm sure some of you have heard or have read about this before. A Hello World program is simply a program that outputs the phrase Hello World on a device's display or monitor. This type of program is usually the first example that students in an Introduction to Programming course will create, and we will honor that sacred tradition as well. Hello World is a very simple program that is very easy to write, even if you've never had any programming experience before. And in Python, it's even easier and simpler compared to other programming languages. In Python, all you have to do is type the word print, followed by parentheses, then type hello world in quotation marks. And that's it. The code for this hello world program in Python is complete. Let's go ahead and save this by choosing file. Here on Windows, make sure that you select the file menu from the document window and not from the interactive shell. On a Mac, you'll just see one option and you just have to make sure that your Python document is the active window. And then choose Save As. And then here in the Save As dialog box, I'm going to save this inside a folder that I have on the desktop but you can save it wherever you like. Just make sure that you remember where it is, and then I'll name this Hello World. Make sure that it says Python files for the format. This will save it as a Python file and give it the .py extension name. Then I'll click Save, and if I check my folder, I see the saved Python file in there. So now I'm ready to run the program. To run the program, we go up here to Run in the main menu, and then we choose Run Module. This will tell the Python interpreter to start reading and executing the code inside the file, and any output will come out here in the interactive shell. 
And here we see the phrase, hello world displayed on the screen. And that is how you create and run a Python program from a file. Take note that in this mode, you will need to use the print command in order to display the output in the shell. This is different from the interactive mode where you just type an operation or a command and then press enter and the result gets immediately displayed. So as I've mentioned earlier, the Hello World program is commonly used as a first example when teaching programming to beginners. And this is how a Hello World program looks like in Python. You'll find that in other programming languages, it will be different. In Java, for example, which is another widely used programming language, this is how a Hello World program looks like. And as you can see, this looks a little bit more complicated. You'll find that Python code is often simpler and easier to read, which is one of the reasons that makes it an ideal language for beginners. If you've already closed the file and you would like to edit it again, on Windows, you can simply right click on the file and then choose edit with idle. On a Mac, you can right click on the file, choose open with and choose idle. So if this is your first time to create a hello world program, congratulations. And I hope that you are looking forward to making some more.